Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here coming at you with a question that a lot of you may be asking yourselves these days and that is, is it worth it to buy a 40 caliber pistol? In other words, is 40 caliber or 40 Smith & Wesson still a viable option in the firearms world? Um, because a lot of people are saying, you know, well, with the new bullet technology and this and that, um, it's, you know, pointless to get a 40. You, you should either get a 9 or, or you should get a 45 because they don't make a 46. And uh, I kind of think that that line of thinking is just dumb. Because if you think about it, back in the 90s and the early 2000s, all I can remember is people saying, well, you don't want a nine. That's, you know, nine millimeters so wimpy. You want to get a, you want to get a 40 because 40 is so much more powerful than nine millimeter. And you get so much more capacity than 45. And, you know, they're, you know, you're stupid if you don't get a 40 cal. And then, you know, a few years later, it's like all of a sudden everybody was like, eh, well, you know, 40 cal is just kind of stupid and, you know, 40 cal is pointless. You know, it's 40 short and weak and this and that. Um, I don't really understand the train of thought in the gun community because it's like they, you know, one year people are saying, well, this is the best thing ever and this and that. And, you know, you're stupid if you don't have this. And then all of a sudden, a couple years later, everybody's like, well, maybe that wasn't the best thing in the world. So here's my thing. Um, okay, 40 cal, it's obviously been a very popular cartridge and a very popular gun. You know, 40 caliber has been used in a lot of guns over the last 20, 30 years. Um, here's three of them. For example, I have a Glock 22 and a couple of Rugers. I got a Ruger P91 and a Ruger P944. All three are great guns. They're all based off of 9mm designs, and that's typically what most of your 40 cals are going to be. They're based off of 9mm, because 9mm has been around forever. Um, but they're still really good guns, and um, people think these days anyway that with the new bullet technology that you know nine millimeters just as good as 40 and um, 45 is you know you make a bigger hole with a 45 and you know that's all that matters you know why get 15 rounds of 40 when you can get seven rounds of 45 and be you know have the best caliber there is well um i don't really fall in that line of thinking um I think all three are good, and of course there are other calibers that are good too. They're just not as popular, like 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter, which is the parent case for the 40, that is an excellent, excellent round. And I wish that it was more popular than it is. Um, it's coming back, but uh, it's just not as popular as 9, 40, or 45. And these days, I guess it would be 9 and 45. But, you know, 40 is still a really good option. And in the case of the Glock, you know, the Rugers, um, they're a little bit dated. Well, of course, they, you know, they don't make these two models anymore. You know, this one holds 11, this one holds 10. And, uh, you know, they take the same magazines. It just depends on what year they were made is what the magazines that they were made with, um, what their capacities are. But, you know, 11 rounds... That's not a whole lot. That's not much more than a 45. Um, so I can understand, you know, if you're talking about a gun like this or this, that when you say, you know, maybe it's not worth it to get a 40. Um, but then again, it's still more capacity than the 45 counterparts of these same models. Um, Cause you're talking about eight rounds with those versus 10 or 11 um, with the 40s. Now, in, the, in terms of the Glock and uh, a few other models, but the Glock especially, um, you're talking 15 rounds of 40 cal versus 13 of your 45, and I think you can get um, extended magazines and stuff. Like, you can get 22 round magazines for the Glock 40 cal. Um, and, you know, some people will say, well, you know, what good is the capacity if you can make a bigger hole with a 45. You know, I carry 45 because they don't make a 46. And, you know, that's, people say that all the time. I don't really understand it. Um, but here's the thing. 40 caliber, 
the actual ballistics of the 40 caliber are better than the 9 or the 45. Now, I'm not a ballistics expert, expert, but think about it like this. You have a 40 caliber round based off of the 10 millimeter, which was a very, very high powered round, or at least it originally was. Um, so the 40 cal, it's it's got more mass than a nine millimeter. Um, you're talking typically 180 grains versus 100 and uh, 115. Uh, so that's quite a bit bigger than a nine millimeter, and it's going faster. So, well, maybe not faster, but it's going really fast. And so that bigger bullet going maybe around the same velocity is going to do a little more damage. And on the flip side with the 45, the 45 is 230 grains. So the 45 is a lot bigger and you can make a bigger hole, but the 45 is also going a lot slower. So you're, you know, you might make a bigger hole, but what good is the bigger hole if the smaller bullet is doing more damage because it's going faster. So your 40 cal Ballistics is actually better than your 45. Now it's just a typical standard 45. We're not talking about plus P or plus P plus or you know 460 Roland or all these other you know high powered 45 rounds. We're just talking about standard 45 ACP. And 40 cal typically is going to have a little bit better ballistics than a 45 and you get more capacity. Um, with a Glock, like I said, you can get 22 round magazines for a Glock, and that's factory magazines. I'm not sure if they make any aftermarket magazines that holds more than 15. I'm not really sure. I don't have any aftermarket magazines, um, but you know, 15 rounds of 40, um, or 16, 17, maybe if you get the, uh, the extended base plate, you know, you can get, you know, 16, 17 rounds of 40. That's pretty good. That's in nine millimeter territory right there. Um, because the, the Glock 17, you're talking 18, 19 rounds. So it's not all that different from a nine millimeter uh, in terms of capacity, but you have a much better, um, ballistic and you have, um, much better capacity than a 45 and a similar size gun. And of course, when we're talking about prices, you know, prices of ammunition, um, it is going to be more than than nine millimeter. Um, and depending on where you get your ammo and what brand of ammo you're getting, it typically is going to be less than 45. Sometimes it is a little bit more than 45, um, but usually it's less. Um, so, you know, a, a box of nine millimeter, you're talking 10, 12 dollars a box for the cheap stuff we're talking here. Um, a box of 40, you, you might pay 15, 16, 17 dollars a box. And a box of 45, you're talking about, you know, 17, 18 dollars a box. So it's a little bit cheaper, typically, than 45. It's more expensive than 9mm, of course. Um, but 9mm is just super popular compared to 40 or even 45 for that matter. Um, and, it, and it's just naturally more expensive to manufacture because you're talking about more powder and a bigger bullet and more brass obviously because it's a bigger casing um, so naturally it's going to be more expensive to manufacture but also it's not quite as popular as nine millimeters so you're talking about you know a few dollars more for a box of 50 but um if you think about it it's not that much you know, it's not that bad. You know, it's not that much. You know, it's around the same price as 45. It's definitely cheaper than than 357 Magnum or 357 Sig or 10 millimeter. All these other more powerful rounds that people will say is so much better than 40. And I'm not saying that they're not better than 40. 357 Mag, 357 Sig, 10 millimeter. You know, they all have their place. But when it comes to buying a gun and uh, you just want a gun take to the range you know have as a home defense weapon a, a self-defense weapon you know anything a 40 is a very good choice um my favorite is nine millimeter i do have more nine millimeters than 40s but i do have three 40 calibers 
for a reason. Um, you know, if I didn't like 40, I wouldn't buy three 40 calibers. And uh, I bought two of them fairly recently. In, in, in the past few months, I bought two 40 cals. Um, so if that says anything about how I feel about 40, and I would, I would buy more. Um, you know, I might buy a Glock 23 or something. Um, I don't have a whole lot of models that I specifically like in 40, but I do like the Ruger P series and I do like Glocks. Um, and I found a pretty good deal on all of these. You can get a good used 40 cal in the 350 range. This one I believe was um, 250 and these two I think were around the 350 range. So pretty cheap for a good gun you know they're these are the you know, glock rugers they're both really good guns even though they're used um not a whole lot of new guns being made in 40 um although ruger just came out with a 40 cal pc carbine and that looks interesting i might look into that although i might just go with the nine millimeter but i do have the 40 caliber glock to go with the 40 cal i don't have anything to match up with the nine millimeter pc carbine because they don't make them in um they don't make them with p series magazines which is stupid they make them with the um the sr magazines which they don't even make the sr series anymore and you know i don't have a nine millimeter glock so you never know i may get myself a um, PC carbine and 40 cal and that is another option that you guys can go with if you're looking at 40 cal you know you can match it up with your 40 caliber Glock um, or you can get other 40 caliber carbines as well that take Glock magazines or even other magazines like um, oh I don't really know um, but there are other um, rifles carbines that take other magazines other than Glock Anyway, that's my take on the 40 cal. Should you buy it? Should you not buy it? Well, that's up to you. Um, I wouldn't say don't buy it because I think the 40 cal is a great option for home defense, self defense, taking to the range, doing whatever. You know, it's not all that different than uh, than nine millimeter. And in my opinion, 40 caliber doesn't kick any more than nine millimeter. In fact. Um, you know, depending on what gun you're shooting, the 40 cal may kick less for you um, because it all depends on the recoil springs and, uh, you know, it, there's a lot of factors when it comes to recoil. But in my experience, I've not had any more recoil in a 40, even though people say that 40 kicks so much more than 9mm. Um, that's not been my experience. So, but that's just me. So, anyway, should you get a 40? Well, if you want to, I'm not going to say don't buy it. I'm not going to say buy it. Um, it's really up to you, but I do think that 40 is a good choice for a firearm of any um, of any genre or any category that uh, you might want to buy a gun in. You know, you might consider a 40 um, over a 9 millimeter or a 45. It just depends on what you're looking for and um, you know what. Uh, your research leads you to. But anyway, I do think that 40 cal is still a viable option, even though it's not as popular as it once was. So anyway, that is my opinion on the 40 cal. Uh, subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14, and until next time, be safe.